Hello, this is Don Taylor, and uh, I just woke up, and I was going to do a podcast today, and this and that, but I, it's kind of a spur of the moment. I have in my set um, protocol for podcasts, so I'm going to just do this via YouTube. Um, it kind of saddened me. I watched a, a, a documentary called The Social Dilemma. Um, it's on Netflix, but I saw it on YouTube, and how... 10-year-old kids are in porn now, and they do sending nudes and all that stuff to each other, and and they get, like, sex mailed, pretty much. And it's sad how I look at mankind, and mankind has made a beautiful thing like sex and beauty, all that stuff, into some some awful thing. And it kind of shows you where man's heart's at. And, I don't know. I mean, for me, honesty, I am not the biggest fan of social media. I am really not. I think it causes isolation. Look at COVID. It causes so much isolation that people are depressed and kill themselves. And I think social media has that element. I, I, I know you can use it for the good, like I'm doing right now. I reach so many people. I, I reach a lot of people through social media. And I'm thankful for that. But at the same time, isolation's up and suicide's up even before COVID. I think suicides are up even now with COVID. And um, the reality is we are supposed to um, like be around each other, not like, oh, on a screen. And it's interesting how dating and all that stuff has changed so much through social media. And the reality is we need to be around each other, kiss each other, hug each other, all that stuff. And I, it's been a big trend since Facebook around for 20 years. It's been crazy. Like how unhealthy we are as people. And there's a place in the Bible, I don't know the Bible on me right now, but it says, don't forsake a fellowship there's in Hebrew somewhere. Uh, on that note on Facebook, not Facebook, on YouTube, I will uh, I will show you where the verse is at, but I don't know it's off the top of my head. I should know that, but I don't. Um, unfortunately, people are disconnected and killing themselves, and depression is like 80% or 70% of the kids have depression at 14 or 15. It's crazy. I mean... It's that's the reason why I'm, I'm promoting the gospel so much on so online or talk to people because I see a world that has counterfeit relationships, counterfeit dating, counterfeit truth, and you don't have to live that way. So Jan first, I don't, I'm not a big fan of New Year's resolution at all. I am not. I'm, I'm like, okay, do it today. If if it's not, then don't do it. If it's today, do it. But um, I don't know. Is it's for me. I, after watching Social Dilemma again, I'm going to, I don't know, I'm praying to God that I can reach more people, and God will be giving me creative with the um, images I use, and uh, videos, and podcasts, all that stuff, for His glory, because the world's hurting, and a lot of kids don't go to their parents anymore, they go to, they go online like a porn for sex ed. And it's like very abusive and very hateful towards women. And it's people nowadays are culture, oh, we, we respect women. Well, yeah, but you know, what about the porn industry that's like, so is women getting abused and very big abuse and abusive in every, every aspect. That's not loving towards women. What about the absolute of truth? What about this and that? And the thing is, we live in a culture, even the older people, we, we, we have posts. And if there's no likes, we take it down because no one likes us. The route, I'll give you the news. Me as a follower of Christ, I'm not going to be the most popular person on the internet. I'm not going to be the most popular place of person, like, ever. But you know what? I'm going to stand for the truth. And I may not be the most liked person on the internet, but you know what? I don't care. We're all going to die, and we face God someday. And I'm, I'm cool with God. I accept Christ. I'm doing what he wants me to do. So if you guys on the internet, don't be concerned about how many followers you have. 
Don't be concerned how many likes you have. That does not matter. Most people that like this stuff are probably aren't your friends in the first place. And my thing for, not, not this year, but for all of us, good, well done, my faithful servant. That God's telling me. What God will tell me. That's all I care about. I don't care if I make a post about hell or about how no one's living for the truth and be like, no one's going to like it. I don't care. I'm standing for the truth. The only, the only thing that really matters after what's social dilemma is knowing Jesus and making him known and living a pure life. And um, I hope that you guys get this message that you don't get caught up in likes and, oh, I need to have, I need to pay a thousand bucks just to get. 5,000 people like 5,000 people or 10,000 people the same way stuff. You know what? Get off that trip. Focus on Jesus. Except Jesus Christ this year. Full of Jesus. And don't care. And get get, get away from your all, all the porn and lies and deceit. And just live a pure life. Because that stuff is going to bring you down. Even materialism. Like how, in all be all is a house and money and your retirement. You know what? Or whatever. That's, and that's a trap. So I hope this year wakes you up. To be a better person, not and we can't get better in self help books. We only get self help books with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. I hope this helps you out, and um, I get spur of a moment. That's kind of a I'm using more organized than this, but I don't care. I'm just going off the flow right now.